to travel now and we're giving away a dream Hawaiian holiday thanks to Hawaii Tourism New Zealand and Hawaiian Airlines and our lucky winner will stay at the Lalo in the heart of Waikiki so go to the cafe website to enter. Debbie's done all the hard yards, hard work really and checked it out for us. Aloha Debbie. Aloha Mike. Well we did an eight day island hopping adventure so we've shown you the islands of Hawaii and the island of Maui. This time I'm showing you the real life Jurassic Park. It's Kauai. Take a look. Today we are on the northernmost and the oldest of the Hawaiian islands, Kauai. It's the backdrop to more than 60 feature films and TV shows, and with scenery like this, it's not hard to see why. <laughs> These eucalyptus trees shade the first mile of Highway 520, creating Tree Tunnel, a natural gateway to Kauai's south shore. On the way, mountains that are both exotic and familiar. This is where the opening scenes of Raiders of the Lost Ark was filmed. We find a film set from Jurassic Park at the National Tropical Botanical Gardens. These 70-year-old Moreton Bay fig trees look familiar? Our claim to fame is basically this spot right here um, where the doctor and his uh, two kids, um, well, he, he squats right here and the kids come over and, oh my goodness, could it be? There were dinosaur eggs. Now, a little practical joke, but um, we try to have a little bit of fun with it, right? Can't all be serious all the time. Allerton Garden is more of a formal estate with themed rooms over 84 acres of land. The serious part happens in the neighbouring McBride Garden, conservation, preservation and research. We rescue plants from the wild, some that have as few as one individual left in the wild, um, and we bring them into a nursery where we figure out or crack the code on how to get them to reproduce, en masse basically. The aim to eventually return the plants to their natural habitat. Across the road, the spectacular Spouting Horn Blowhole, one of the most photographed spots on Kauai. The surf channels into a natural lava tube, fountaining as high as 15 metres. With over 4 million coffee trees grown on 3,100 acres, Kauai Coffee Company is the largest coffee grower in the US. And believe it or not, our filming theme continues in a more high-tech kind of way. The drone tells us the health of the canopy. It's able to spot problems with irrigation. Uh, it's able to spot uh, problems with soil health. We're looking at both still images and video, and we're looking at infrared. Uh, we're even going to be going into thermal projection to look at the health of our cover crops. If we really want to be the, the most sought-after Hawaiian coffee in the world, and we will be, we have to take every advantage we can to learn about what we do. And a sensor, in, a, in the broadest sense, is just a way for us to gather information and make it a, the right decisions faster. So if I can see it from the air and make a decision that I couldn't see walking, then I can make those kinds of choices. If it can tell me what's going on with a problem in my irrigation system, I can fix it like that. And we get a sneak peek of a virtual reality experience for visitors. <laughs> I'm going to take you up quite a ways. OK, yeah, OK, go, go, go. Right. From 50 metres in the air, the ocean sparkles beyond the green coffee trees and the red Hawaiian soil. It's a unique experience. Would you like a speed rush on the deck? Yes. Okay. okay. Hang on. Go, 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 go. Woohoo! Ah, oh, that's amazing. That's so cool. <laughs> wow. And there's my eyes right there. On the western side of the island, Waimea Canyon, described as the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. Although not as big or as old, this is a geological giant that shouldn't be missed. The canyon stretches 22 kilometres. It's more than one and a half kilometres wide and more than a thousand metres deep. Chopper flights are popular and book out a week in advance. There are hiking trails and a great lookout point. After a full day of sightseeing, we're in for some luxury at Kua Kea Resort. I'm checking out the rooms. Look at the bed. And yes, it is as comfortable as it looks. 
That's Poi Per Beach and the waves are rolling in. It is sunset, it's five o'clock in the evening. While Anne indulges in a traditional healing Hawaiian lomi lomi massage. Oh, yes, uh, yes. Relaxing to the sound of waves in a private beachside cabana. That was so beautiful. Thank you so much. Top off the day with cocktails by the fire pit as the sun sets over Poipu Beach. Oh, that looks so beautiful. And I've been to Hawaii, but I didn't get off the beaten track, so thank you for that, Debbie. A good excuse to get back. And I was just going to say, too, it looks like our friend Anne Mallow from House of Travel struck gold with that massage on the beach. She really did, didn't she? And she came away from it so relaxed and so calm. She thoroughly enjoyed it. What a great place. And a cabana on a beach, for goodness uh, sake, in I Hawaii. Um, I went inside to the resort a spa, and I had an anti-aging facial. Can you tell? Yes. Yes, absolutely. I can. Thank yes. you. Yes, I can. <laughs> came out looking 10 years younger um, but I fell asleep embarrassingly but it, that's how luxurious it was mm. it was gorgeous um, at Koakei Resort you have to book into Red Salt Restaurant that is a special night out I trusted the chef and I went with the chef's tasting menu for that meal and it is it was divine. I haven't eaten in Mark's restaurant, so I can say it was one of the best meals I've ever had. So I'll try your restaurant very soon, Mark. But for the moment, Red Salt at Kauakea was amazing. So I know that everyone's going to be planning their holiday in Hawaii. You should be right now. Go to Hawaii Tourism's uh, New Zealand website, which is on screen, and for the best deals in getting there, fly Hawaiian Airlines that aloha spirit straight away. This week marks the fifth year anniversary that they've been flying into New Zealand, actually. Awesome. And, yeah, and they're upping their commitment to New Zealand, flying uh, from three weeks, taking it to five weeks, flying weekly, Auckland to Hawaiian Islands, so all of those little islands there, and onwards to the mainland as well, to the US, 12 cities on the US mainland, including Seattle, San Fran, and LA as well, so book with Hawaiian Airlines. Lines. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Debbie. Hawaii just looks perfect, doesn't it? And it is the great winter travel destination, I think, because they're making it so affordable as well.